Hi, thanks for joining me. This is the project we're going to make today. It is a toilet paper roll basket. And here's another one. Okay, to make one of these, all you're going to need is a leftover roll of your toilet paper from your toilet paper. And you're going to cut it down to one and three eighths. So first you're going to just kind of flatten it. And then you're going to put it on your paper trimmer and cut it to one and three eighths. Your designer paper to cover the outside is going to measure five and a half by one and three eighths. And your cardstock for the inside is going to measure 5 and 3 16 by 1 and 3 8. And we'll get started. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and attach the cardstock to the inside. Now, if these cardboard edges bother you, you can take an ink pad. And you can just get some ink on there and then that way you can't see the cardboard. Now we're going to attach this in here. Okay, so there we have it. Okay, so now let's attach the outside piece. I'm going to line up the seam of the designer paper with the seam of the toilet paper roll. When I go to attach the handles, that's where I'm going to put them, okay? just to kind of reinforce it so that it doesn't come apart. And now right here at the very edge, I'm going to reinforce this. You can use sticky strip, your favorite adhesive. Um, what I'm going to use is this liquid glue. It works really well. I just want to make sure this stays closed. And this is um, the adhesive that I used years ago, back in 2007 when I made these for the first time. I'll just wipe off this extra. I'll clean that up later. Now for the bottom of the basket, we're going to be using the one and three quarters circle punch and the two and three eighths. You're going to attach this one just right on top of the other one. You could use a different color if you'd like. It's not really going to show. I just want a little extra strength for the bottom, okay? And then determine which one you want to be the bottom. I'm going to make this one the bottom. Now just hold this for a second. That liquid glue will dry clear. Um, the one that I made five years ago. Um, you can see inside there, um, it's in there, but it's clear, so it will be okay. Now let's do the handle. We're going to use the dotted scall scallop ribbon border punch. First we're going to use it with basic black. Then we're going to use more mustard. And I didn't mention that the designer paper is the new paper in the Holiday Mini Catalog. I believe it's called House Tooth. Okay, so now what we're going to do is going to place this on the trimmer and we're actually going to cut it in half. If you're really good with scissors, you could do that. I think I'm a little bit better with the trimmer. And if I mess up, I've already got one done. I did not mess up. Yay. Okay, so now let's add some adhesive onto the black piece. Okay, so now we're going to attach this. And then now we want the other side. Okay, I'm 
going to just make this in even really fast. You can use a bone folder or a stylus. We just want to kind of curl this. And then now we're going to center it right here. We're going to use two black brads. These are in the neutrals pack. You could use a different color. Okay, now I'm going to come back and I'm going to find that edge. I still need to clean this up, but I'm going to still wait until this uh, glue is a little bit drier. But now I'm going to pierce a hole right there. And then now the other side. Okay, so now let's stamp. We're going to be using the Munster Munchie stamp set. We're going to be using this cute little bat right here. We're going to stamp him on very vanilla cardstock using Black Stays on ink. We're going to take the one inch circle punch, cut that right out. We're going to be using the one and a quarter scallop circle punch. This is brand new in the holiday catalog. I love it. All I need now is a one and a half inch, and I'll be set forever. Well, I say that, but I love scallops. Okay, so we got a couple more steps. We're going to go ahead and attach that using a mini glue dot. We're going to add some black taffeta ribbon. And then you can put Hershey Kisses in here. You can put the little snack size um, candy that you can get during Halloween or Christmas. They have those little bite size pieces. That's what fits in here. And we got one more step. We want to add these little googly eyes right here. I'm so happy we have those in our catalog now. Again, these are in the Holiday Mini. Okay, so there you have it. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot. Bye.